<coughs> Have another drag, Mike. Dude. <coughs> Have another drag, dude. Smoking, the Surgeon General has determined, is bad for your health. So don't do it. That's the only reason I did that. Alright, here we go. Ready for some baffery? in there, but I'm not going to teach you the mistakes. This is a mistake. Okay? But not because of what the Surgeon General says. It's because they're expensive. Okay, check this out, guys. You want to tune a quarter step flat. At least that's how the version was that I checked out. Not fully a half step down there. It's up a little bit from there. And there's variations. This is played on an acoustic, the whole intro. and um, But we're going to use electric for lesson purposes here. Go like this. Kind of dark, eerie sounding. 3A, 1D. And what you want to do, it's slow. And you'll go strings 5, 4, 3, 4, 5, 4, 3, 4. And then take your pinky, go to the 3rd fret D. Leave your 3rd finger on the 3rd fret A. And do the same thing. Five, four, three, four, five, three, four, five, four, three, four. So it's two times each. Back to the first one. Two times. And then uh, back to the fourth fret or the third fret on the D. One time now. Five, four, three, four. They're mixing it up on it. It's not like a set pattern is what I'm getting at. Okay. That's kind of like the one of the patterns. The other one is this. Start it over. all of it they wind up uh, second fret A and then do an open D and open G so you go strings five four three four and I think it's four times and they slow it down as they go they actually slow down periodically through this you think they're gonna be done and then they start it up again <laughs> what I'm talking about. Um. So go like this, 4A, 6D. You're gonna play it twice, but put a rest in between the first two. So. Actually you're gonna go down, up, down, and then move it to 2A, 4D and then right back to 4A, 6D. These are just power chords. And then 1E, 3A, palm mute it, go four times. So. And then 4A, 6D once, 2A, 4D once, back to 4A, 6D once. And then they do what's called accenting. They'll go 1E, 3A, and go, and then 3A, 5D. And then 3E, 5A, down, up, down, up. 
same thing on 4A 6D or 4E 6A. You just move the power cord a half step. Remember, a half step is when you're moving one fret with something. So if you're playing on this 3E 5A, someone says, "Hey, let's move that a half step sharp." You just move it up to the fourth and sixth fret. If they, if you're there and they say move a half step flat, you just move it back to the third and fifth fret. Okay, so it does two of those, and I'll show you the third one changes. And then the third one is this, starts the same way. And then, right here's where it changes, 3E, 5A, but bar the third fret, because they're going... You'll go 3 5, and then 3 3, then 3 5, then 3 3, and then 3 5, and then 4 E 6 A twice. Or three times. Now. And then you go back to the first one. Okay, so, um, but on that intro, man, the part that's using an acoustic guitar, they've got reverb on it, it's got that drony, eerie kind of sound. Um, you could do that on a, on a clean channel, on the electric, it's fine. Um, the order of it, man, like I said, they're not staying completely consistent on it. So I'm, I've given you the parts, but listen to parts in there, and listen to when it starts to slow down, you think they're going to end it, and then they'll jump right back into the... Listen to the, the swoops in it and all that. So, Bathory, what, what, what was it? Fine Day to Die? I got so many song requests, man. Where is it? A Fine Day to Die. Oh, I didn't say he requested this because this is an old request, man. Uh, Dr. M. Rat, it looks like. It's hard to tell. Or P. Lat. Anyways, you'll know when you see it in the YouTube feed. Um, listen close to it, guys, to, to pick up on it. Um, you know, it's one of like four different chord things happening here. But when it ends and goes into the distortion section, you, you want to be winding up on fret 2 on the A, going two, or going 5, 4, 3, 4, four times and slowing it down as you go. So it's not, if you set a metronome to it, it's gonna, it ain't going to work. You're going to have to, by feel, slow it down. That's how they did it. So if you have questions, let me know. I hope it didn't get too confusing on you there, you guys. Um, it's the first battery lesson I have on here. I do everything on this channel. So uh, make sure you subscribe and send me your requests. I'll get them for you the way these bands are doing it. Uh, my website's rockinguitarlessons.com. $25 a month to join. It's going to be a cool site. Uh, pick up your guitar and learn now type site. My email's rockinguitarlessons at hotmail.com. And if you want to really take your lessons to the next level, I highly suggest taking Skype lessons. My Skype name is Rock and Guitar Lessons. It's $50 an hour, $25 for a half an hour. Um, if that fits your budget, you'll get no faster results than one-on-one -on -one lessons. And I've been teaching since 1992. So I know how to get the results. And the cool thing is you can work on the things you want to work on. Um, if you're not sure what that is, I'll know because I'll be able to hear and watch you play. Um, all styles, all levels. So add me only if you want to do the lessons on Skype. And then uh, my PayPal email is tvxpunk if you'd like to make a donation to this channel. If not, don't sweat it. I still love you. Keep coming back. Spread the word about Mike Gross, rockinguitarlessons.com, and youtube.com slash rockinguitarlessons1. i got to take off because i got a lesson on Skype right now with Brent Halper, Sir Fornicate Rectum, my YouTube dude. I know, man. It's a crazy name. To a quarter step flat. If, if you don't understand that, just stay in standard or tune it a half step down. See you later, guys.